I know you guys are curious as to why Whammons in particular just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and not in the pleasant curvy ways. But we finally have an answer. Air pollution is making Whammons fat. Because apparently air pollution is made of tiny little cake particles and, and soda. Like the, the, there's soda rain pouring down. Of course you get fat under these conditions. So it looks like all that water weight might actually be from the air. A new study suggests that long-term air pollution exposure is linked to women's gaining weight, practically ladies in their late 40s and 50s. Yeah, changing biology has nothing to do with it. Now, observed whammons uh, who were exposed to poor air quality, spe specifically higher levels of fine particles, such as nitrogen dioxide and ozone, that's the increases in their body size. According to a study uh, author, Zin Wang, in, the, uh, in ep epidium in ep epidemiology, there we go, research investigated at the University of Michigan. <laughs> Any excuse, man. Any excuse. No, it's not because I eat seven meals a day and at uh, 14,000 calories. No, it's not because I, I spend all day sitting in an office. Yeah, yeah, that was another meme I was reminded of, too. Like how women are like, oh, I see guys eating, you know, everything, like whatever they want. They don't gain weight. But I eat half of that and I gain four times the weight. Well, what does that guy do? Like when Michael Phelps was active, he ate like 10,000 calories a day, something like that. And he was skinny as a motherfucker because you know, he burnt off those calories. He was a professional athlete. And it's the same thing with these guys. A lot of these guys, these women see just eating anything they want and, and not gaining weight. They probably have a physical job. Like they work construction. They're not sitting on their ass in an air-conditioned office all day. So these same women, like, oh, it's not fair. These guys can eat anything and not gain weight. Why can't I do it? Why don't you go get a job in construction? You'll be able to do it too. They never consider that. Oh, it, it, it's because of air pollution. Now, the exposure to air pollution was tied to higher body fat, fat proportion, and lower lean mass of for middle-aged women's uh, Eureka Alert noted that body fat increased by 4.5% or about 2.6 pounds. So how do you account for the other 300? <laughs> now, the data came uh, from a mix of 1,650 white, black, Chinese, and Japanese women whose median age was 50. They had been tracked for eight years from 2000 to 2008. Wow, and the study just now came out, huh? Their residential addresses were used to measure relative air pollution surrounding their homes as well, looking for connections between the two entities. Oh God, what about the what about the lifestyle too? Because like if you're comparing whammons who live out in the country to whammons who live in the city who that have higher air pollution, like unless you're comparing two relatively similar metropolitan areas with differing levels of pollution. Maybe you can sell me on that, but I'd like more. I'd need more details here. However, the exercise and physical activity uh, acted as a deterrent to the effects of these findings, according to the outlet. And there we go. So, so even if you want to use the excuse of air pollution, you can counter it by exercising. Personal accountability wins again. The Wang also said that because the study has focused solely on middle-aged whammons, these findings can be generalized to younger or older whammons or men. Men don't need an excuse. Holy shit, why is, why is my gut hanging over my belt? Oh yeah, it's because I've been exercising less and eating more. I should probably fix that. You're not going to sit there thinking, it's like, oh, it must, it, it must be all the genetically modified ingredients they're adding to the food. They don't fit well with me.